Hey everyone, Agron Frost here, and welcome to episode two of Ask Agro, the radio show where I respond to your guys' questions that you leave in the comments from previous episodes. Um, just before I get started here, I would like to thank you guys all for the brilliant response I got to episode one. I received a ton of comments on it, um, a ton of great questions. Some of them were just totally off the wall and I had no idea where they came from and others were relevant and very well worded and I really look forward to answering them. Um, just to let you guys know before I get started here, um, in this next in this next series of questions you guys ask me, I would prefer if you ask me uh, Pokemon related questions only as opposed to just spontaneous questions due, um, regarding my personal life, I'd like you guys to ask me just questions regarding how I, what I do with Pokemon, stuff like that. Okay, so um, let's get started. Uh, the first question comes from Jay Finable, 1991, and I really enjoyed this question. Actually, it was really well thought. He asked me, if you could team up with me to make a video, what kind of video would we make? So if I were to travel out to New Jersey or something and visit Jay Finable, or if you were to come out here to Vancouver Island and chill with me for a bit. Um, and just before I answer the qu this question, this is a non-homo question for all you trolls out there who are like, oh, you guys are going to do something homo together. No, it's a non-homo question. It's a Pokemon-related question. Um, I may have misinterpreted this question, so Jay, if you watch this, please let me know if I answered this question satisfactory, satis satisfyingly, you know, whatever. Um, my answer to his question is, I would probably have to say that we would do like some sort of live booster box opening battle, uh, something like Assad versus Anya on Poke Collection. Um, and for the box, if it could be anything, now obviously this is a fantasy, so I can't really, I can kind of hope to open any box I want. So in this case, I'd probably say we would op each open a box of Neo Destiny. But that is a total fantasy, because it's pretty much impossible to get one box, let alone two. So, yeah. Uh, just before I go here, I would like to shout out to jfindable 1991 second raffle, which he is currently hosting. It's a nice, simple little raffle with a few cool little prizes that I hope you guys would enjoy, so please go check it out. And I may even be having a raffle of my own, so please stay tuned for that. Uh, next question, which is actually a series of three questions from Phylong4. He asked, How long have you been collecting Pokemon cards? What is your favorite Pokemon that isn't Ampharos? And do you like trains? Great questions. Uh, answering... How long have I been collecting Pokemon cards? Um, I pretty much started around the time of Gym Heroes Gym Challenge, um, and then I was hanging out with a friend sometime later, and a friend of his actually gave me his entire collection, which now makes up about 40% of my current collection. And that included my uh, base set Charizard, which I've kept in as good condition as I can for all of these years. It's been about, God, it's been about 10 years at least. Um, so yeah, I continue to collect pretty much non-stop until um, around the time of Team Rocket Returns. Although, just for the record, I kind of took a break um, just after Neo Destiny. I didn't really get into the uh, whole E-series very much, but I did kind of stop around Team Rocket Returns, and then last summer, as you guys may or may not know, I bought a black and white blue assault theme deck and restarted my collection. Um, answering the second question, my favorite Pokemon that isn't Ampharos, um, probably a tie between Togetic and Flygon. So, yeah. And do I like trains? Yes. If you don't like Thomas the Tank Engine, you probably don't have it childhood. Thomas the Tank Engine is a boss. But if he's just asking if I like trains in general, not even considering Thomas the Tank Engine, I still do. 
but I'm just making a relevant point. <coughs> I think I'm getting a cold. Uh, next question from the Freaks Pokemon. Pretty simple. Do you like lasagna? I do enjoy lasagna quite a bit, actually. It's very tasty, especially if you get it from Boston Pizza. <sighs> so good. Uh, next series of questions. Three more questions, actually. Uh, from Johnny19191. He asks three questions regarding chess. Namely, do I play chess? How good are you at it? And what is my favorite opening? Um, three questions quick fire question or er, answers here I don't play chess I'm terrible at it and I have no idea what my favorite opening would be so <laughs> sorry if that uh, answer isn't really satisfactory but I don't play chess at all so I don't know anything about it uh, Chugga Kirby comes with another food related question do you like waffles um, obviously I do you'd have to be crazy not to like waffles but it's homemade or bust. You can't not have homemade waffles. They have to be homemade or then you're just not cool. Although I don't really mind Eggo waffles if I need to eat. <laughs> uh, Bubby Berry comes with a Pokemon related question. Do you like Stunfisk? Um, meh. <laughs> that's my, that's pretty much my response. I, I, it's okay, but I don't, meh. It's it's pretty derpy, so it's kind of funny to look at, but I don't know. Uh, Jetix9000 comes to me with this question. Do you think Pokemon Grey version is real? Um, I'm going to have to say yes, uh, considering that every generation has had a third version up until this point. Uh, the first generation had yellow, second had crystal, third had emerald, fourth had platinum, so it's only sensible that the fifth generation would have a third version as well. Um, which of these two should I do next? Actually, I have three more questions. Okay, uh, next question it comes from Meggy590, and she asks, why is Ampharos your favorite? Now, actually, to be honest, if you didn't know this about me, Ampharos is actually not my favorite. Um, I just couldn't really come up with a YouTube name that would make sense to go with Togetic, which is actually my favorite Pokemon. And I don't actually have a reason why. It's just been, I've actually just liked it longer. I owned both a Neo Genesis and a Light Togetic back in, um, back in my old school collecting days a few years ago, or several years ago. And Togetic became my favorite Pokemon. And that's kind of stuck through with me through my whole, um, career in Pokemon. I guess you could call it a career. I don't know. Excuse me. But, yeah, um, Togetic is actually my favorite Pokemon. So, yeah, Ampharos is second, and then earlier when I said it's a tie between Togetic and Flygon for a favorite that isn't Ampharos, um, it would, in this order, it would be Togetic first, Ampharos second, then Flygon third. So there you go. Now, these last two questions, I said I had, yeah, I do have three questions left, or two now. <laughs> God, sorry, it's, I'm tired. Um, time for Pokemon asks me, what is your favorite set, and what is your favorite card from that set? Now, to be totally honest, I've never actually had a set that was my favorite, without a doubt. Um, so it's, it's kind of hard to say which one is actually my favorite, because I have several favorites. But, um, thinking about it a little more, I'd have to go with Neo Discovery. And favorite card from that set would probably be Espeon, which is the very first card in the set. I just kind of love the position. I'll try and get a picture of it on the screen, but if not, just go to Poke Beach and look at Neo Discovery scans. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I can't really do that. I'm just not... I don't have a lot of time here, I have to go out relatively soon, so I can't really be editing this right now, um, but yeah. And my last question, which is actually going to be really tough for me to answer, because I have to basically pull this answer right up on my butt. <laughs> um, 
Blastoise Cards asks me, what are my thoughts on Next Destinies and the ratios of the EXs and stuff in those packs? And possibly some speculation as to the future prices of those EXs considering their ratios. Now, um, I don't really know much about the ratios. I've seen several videos of people some people say they're half decent, some people say they're terrible. Um, kind of a theory that I believe, because I haven't really looked into it myself, is I think it was like... I think I saw somewhere it was like four EXs, one full art, and one shiny Pokemon per case or something, and I, I don't really think that's right, but it... I don't know. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not really sure what the ratios will be, but if they're anything relatively near to what I've seen or heard, then they're going to be pretty terrible, which should kind of mean that, uh, that the prices of the EXs and the Full Arts will skyrocket, and we'll be paying upwards of $50 or more just to get these cards because it's impossible to pull them out of packs. Because I don't even think those cards are that playable, that, to the best of my knowledge. I don't know. Some of them... I think Mewtwo EX is a playable card. And Regigigas. I can't really remember, though. Um, so, yeah, I think... Personally, I'd say the prices are going to skyrocket. Paying upwards of 40 to $50. The Full Arts will be even more, for sure. Full Arts could be up to 75 but... Uh, just the regular EXs, I'd say $45, $50, something like that. Something ridiculous that I really wouldn't be interested in paying, even though I really want a Shaman EX. If somebody has a Shaman EX, I'd, be, uh, I'd love to trade with you, so uh, please let me know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that is all the questions from this episode. I'll just go back through them all. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, so we will end it off here. Uh, as I said in the beginning, um, I really love the response to episode one. So if I can get a pretty good response on episode two, maybe I can take this uh, series a little further. So please leave some likes, leave some good comments, ask me some more questions. Remember to make them Pokemon related um, because I. I don't know, I just want to mix it up, keep kind of keep a pattern going or keep a system in place or something like that. I don't know. So yeah. Uh Pokemon related questions in episode three. Um so comment down below. Stuff to do with Pokemon. Um I don't really know what much there is to ask now, but you guys are creative people. You can come up with something if you think about it. Um I won't be able to do an episode for a little bit now because uh, you know, school and everything, and I may not have a lot of time, so it might not be until next weekend that I do another episode, but, yeah, um, so yeah, reiteration of points, um, comment down below Pokemon-related questions for me, and I will answer them as best as I can, whenever I can, which would be the next episode. Okay, so, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you are having a good weekend. I actually have Monday off because of a pro D day in my school district, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so I will actually I might be able to record another one tomorrow if uh, if I find the time and I get enough comments by tomorrow. So yeah, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later with more Pokemon content. And I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and this is Edgar Frost, and I will talk to you guys later.